Hello. We're back. Is that a bit dark? Turn this off. That's a bit better. Okay. So, I have been busy <laughs> since my last upload. And I've done quite a lot. So, let's start it off. We have... The Revel 172 scale F4J Phantom. Wow, that was a mouthful. This is a really good kit. Um, the only thing I'm going to say is if you want to hold it at the back, you are going to get your fingers spiked by the missiles. I've built this. Bedford truck. And that's from the Airfixes got the box here RAF bomber resupply set being 172 scale it doesn't come with the Lancaster just so you know if you're going to buy this kit it doesn't come with that Lancaster um what else have I done I've done this Spitfire if you guys have watched my previous videos you'll know that I had trouble uploading the first video, this build video of the Spitfire, where I'd partially built it. But now I've built most of it, and I'm getting onto the painting stage. But in order to paint it, I'm going to have to wait till Christmas so I can get some Humbrol 57 pastel pink. Because in the war, um, at dusk and at dawn, they would use... Spitfires that were painted a light pink to blend in with the sky. So it's another form of camo. Again, if you've watched my videos, you'll know about this experimental FW190. I've kind of made it into a crashed FW190 with like a blanket over it to make it look disused and diswanted. I made the I'm so I'm planning to do like a Spitfire diorama with this unfinished experimental camo mark 5 c that's airfix's starter set um and i'm planning to do a diorama with airfix's old um little i know they're 176 scale but it doesn't really matter they look quite accurate old rf personnel and british army there's a guy on a stretcher there if it will focus. Yeah. Um, so I'm doing a diorama with them. And it's got two Spitfires. The pink one and their Mark V on it. Uh, the Mark V is being waved in. With the guy with the paddles coming in. And then I built. Because I wanted like a sort of. Not, an oper not, not a full on operations room. But something along those lines. So I bought, I built, I not bought, I don't think I would have bought this, but I built, scratch built this like operations drawing board. Um, so all it is, is a piece of cardboard, uh, some cut out cocktail sticks, and then I've just painted it with um, Tamiya acrylic black and some um, Humbrol acrylic red and some revel enamel color gray i know a whole mix of manufacturers but i just painted that on and then this cocktail cut up cocktail stick is like where they put the chalk when they're finished so the idea is that's like the coast of france and they're going to attack like a german v1 site that sort of gist um <laughs> Often so much. Um, if you'll excuse me for one second, I have done so. I built this. Now, some of you guys might know what this is, and some of you guys might get confused with something else. I'll show you this in a minute. Don't worry. This is not an F eighty six Sabre. This is a MiG-17 fresco uh, in Soviet colours. Played about with the camo scheme a bit, so you can see it's got the light blue tail. Um, but that is that was fun to build. I built that quite quickly. And the idea is that it, 
it's with the phantom so like basically the story is that the phantom is going on operation rolling Thun thunder which was the us's uh demonstration of near total air supremacy su supremacy Supremi supremacy during the vietnam war and it was a bombing campaign and this fresco is basically gonna go and get it i built that and i've also built this uh some of you guys might know what this is this is the bell uh1 huey iroquois uh iroquois nicknamed the huey go I haven't completely painted it yet. Um, this was made famous in the film Apocalypse Now, which is all about the Vietnam War. And in a scene, they fly in and they're playing some music called Flight of the Valkyries. I'm not going to sing it because it's copyright. But um, they play it from the Huey and like the Vietnamese people like hear it. So I put a little jukebox you can see in there there you go that's a bit better that black lump that's just a jukebox there um but i did that and then we all love the a10 i think the a10 is like a icon of this channel <laughs> so i've upgraded the a10 it's the a10 2.0 i've repainted it i've kept the original gray but i've added to it i gave given it a bit of like winter camo if you will so i've put some like black camo on it painted the 30 mil black this is the two seater variant and they only built one or two of these they thought it would be a better idea as they because they'd done it with the phantom but the one seat is pretty darn good. So they just left it. And they were like, nah. We'll just leave it. It's doing well. Whatever. Um, What else have I done? I've done this. I don't think I've shown this before. But it's an RAF. God, it's tomahawk similar to my desert one that i've got but i've painted it silver on the underside this originally was going to be a it's basically uh, america during the second world war sent a load of these to china who's getting attacked by japan and yeah they were known as the flying tigers their logo was um it was we all need a good one of these so the logo is i'll show you a couple of things while i've got this out i've gone past, I've gone past it haven't i that's a bit stupid um But um, their logo, it's like a um, light blue roundel. Then some like lines coming off of it. Where is it? Here we go. So in the middle column, middle column, can you just see? Above the Polish Air Force one, that blue round hole with like the white dot in the middle, that's the Chinese Air Force one. So, yeah, I'll show you a couple of things while I've got this open. Um, I will do a few, a full video on this catalogue when i get the chance i've got the 
Airfix Buccaneer. Good kit, that is. That's the 172 one. Um, and it's this one. The army one. <coughs> Sorry, the Royal Air Force one. Not the army one. Okay, calm down in the comments. I see you. Um, I've built the Mitchell, the do little raid one there you go that's the RAF resupply set pick that up it's good um ethics makes some great kits really you should go support ethics go buy a couple of their kits i have built this seeking the commando hc4 the um i think it's the 2009 yeah i built the 2009 version Instead of the other one. Can't remember what year the other one was. Um, also, Airfix have released, just released, I think, the BA Sea Harrier FRS-1 to commemorate 40 years of the Falklands War. Heard good things about it. Um, you should, yeah. That was, yeah. Um, this is the fresco kit that I have. I've done the silver version, as you've seen. Uh, new mould for the Hawker Tempest. That, yeah. Um, I've done this Defiant, which you've seen. Have you? Have I not shown you my Defiant? bad of me i'll show you that in a future video uh that's military aircraft and then of course you've got ethics like dogfight doubles and stuff um there i've heard they're actually quite good money for value Val value for money other way around i've got <laughs> i've got two lancasters i've got the airfix mark three B3, sorry, and the Revel B1, B3. Um, apparently, the FX one's better. The Revel one has got something to do with the wings, which makes it a pain. Um, I built two of these M109s here. Yeah. Star set ones. One is... Where are you, you little... One is here. Slightly broken, but it's that one. The yellow nose. And then the other one is somewhere else downstairs, I think. And it's a... I've converted it into a Hungarian one that's crashed, basically. Smoke billowing out the engine. All that jazz. That's the Tomahawk, the desert Tomahawk that I built with the shark mouth. Um... Just a random, you know... 148th dogfight double in the middle of all the star sets. Because that's how airfix roll. This Mark V, that's this one I've just shown you. Um, that's fun. It's quite simple, but it's good. It's detailed. Um, but you should definitely pick this up. Because it's fun. I'm not going to sneeze. Um, so, the colour is on that page. Um, can you see just under where it says colours? Three down is that like pastely pink colour. That's Humbrol Matte 57. That's the one that I'm going to paint that Spitfire with. So, that will be fun. Airfix is fun. Fun, isn't it? It's fun. It's always going to be fun. We like fun. I'm going up. Okay. I think I've shown you everything I need to show you. I... I'm going to go 
do some other stuff. Probably watch YouTube. Watch some of my own cringy videos. No, I won't do that. Um, I'm going to do some of my own stuff now. You guys go do some of your own stuff. Um, go eat popcorn. Don't know. Do something. Do something with your lives. I'm going to go now. So, bye.